What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Kyle McGuire, and uh, we're going out. We're going to do some washing today, y'all. I ain't made a video since uh, we were down at the coast taking care of some commercial properties, and I'm back in Raleigh. It's been a great week. Got some washing done. Just had a uh, turbo issue with Old Faithful right here, but, uh, well, not turbo issue. I thought it was a turbo issue, but after doing some uh, troubleshooting, ended up being the intercooler pipe and blue on it, which... Happens with Power Stroke 6.7s. It's a real cheap fix. It's something Ford identified, and there's an upgraded part for it. But uh, got that replaced, so I'm ready to roll now. We're going to knock out a roof today, and then we're going to go do a pretty decent-sized house wash. So it's a busy day today. But uh, before we get out there and get washing, I'll, I'll take some video. I wanted to talk about roof cleaning. And uh, the majority of roofs I go to aren't dirty at all as far as straw, pine straw and pine cones and stuff like that. Most roofs I go to clean and definitely got the organic growth, but uh, this can save you a lot of time. I have this leaf blower right here, and it's gas powered. It's it's pretty light. It's easy to go up and down the ladder with, get up on the roof, and it definitely uh, expedites your process a little bit. Whenever you get up there and get to a property, you don't want to be wasting uh, an hour cleaning off the roof getting all the straw um you, you don't want to take a broom up there because even a broom a big shop broom or something like that could could knock off granu granules on the shingles and you could uh drag your hose up there start your power washer and just crack a high pressure ball valve to where you got a lot of uh wind coming out like and you could push a lot of that straw off but that's a pain in the butt to me so i invested in this uh little two-stroke leaf blower it makes things easy this is uh the roof we're doing today it's not steep at all so i can't get up there and walk i'll do most of the shooting from the ladder though but uh whenever i do get there from the pictures i saw i had a lot of pine straw i had a lot of pine cones so that gas leaf blower will uh make easy work of that so we'll take care of that when i get there first and then we'll uh we'll start spraying some hot sauce y'all i'm thinking i'll probably need four percent mix today and uh it's gonna clean this roof up real nice then we'll go do this house wash uh i hope everybody's doing good as always i get with you what's going on everybody it's your boy kyle we're out here at the house and uh, this thing was a doozy, y'all. I'm pretty whooped, and I still got to go to a house wash today. But uh, just to catch y'all up to speed, I used that uh, two-stroke leaf blower, and I got all the uh, the pine straw and the pine cones off of this beautiful house's roof. And uh, you can already see from looking at these embankments, we've put a uh, treatment on there. That way we could take care of those black streaks caused by that organic growth, that gliocapsid magma. And uh, the customer was out here. The customer watched me the whole time. And... Uh, it was pretty cool to see his reaction to everything getting cleaned right before his eyes because you can see how quickly this stuff works. I mean, there's a big dramatic difference. Uh, everything's looking good. I'll walk you around the house. You can see right there. Let me walk you over here. Hope everybody's doing good. I'm out here working my butt off, y'all. I need a helper. Treated that side over there. And the back was really bad. The north side of the house is on the back side of the house. And uh, the roof right above there, they have a really nice wooden deck. They just need to throw some stain on there. I haven't talked to them about it. I haven't done it in years, but I used to do that down at the beach. I used to paint and stain a lot of decks down there at the coast. So it's nothing I ain't, I ain't scared of work, you know. I'm, I'm about to get that, get that money, y'all. But uh, right behind me. Threw a treatment up here, it's starting to dry. And I threw a treatment up here, it's starting to dry at the top, but I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but you can see where that stuff's turning bright white. Um, definitely gonna look really good. I'm gonna come out here tomorrow morning and get some before and after pics, and uh, we're, we might get some rain tonight. Uh, that will wash a lot of this stuff away, but uh, I'll get some pics if it looks good. If not, I'll do a touch up spot here or there. Uh, that's not uncommon. You know, it's, it's happened to me on one or two roofs just where I thought everything looked good. You know, at that time of day, the sun's shining, everything looks good. But then you come back on a cloudier day and you can see a little bit better and you just miss one little spot. Uh, but yeah, so far it looks good. I hope everybody's doing good. I'm out here. Just knocked out this big roof. Uh, 
medium sized roof and now I'm about to go knock out a pretty big house wash. So let's go get it. Peace. This is just a quick picture I took today y'all of the roof when I was spraying that hot sauce. What's going on everybody? We're at this second house. We have Flexzilla pulled out. Right now I'm pulling off my soft wash system hose and I'm also got my pressure hose out. That's what I do my bulk rinsing with with a uh, high pressure ball valve. That's how I rinse the house. But we're at the uh, second home. It's a two story vinyl house approximately 3,000 square feet and the most of the house is really clean the only part that's dirty is I'll show y'all here in a second is the back side of the house right here you kind of see it you can't don't hardly look as bad whenever you're looking through the camera but if you were here in person it's pretty bad But, uh, yeah, you can see it right here. All this green, green algae. So we're going to hit it with a house wash mix. And when I say house wash mix, I'm talking anywhere from one to one and a half percent SH. And it will take all this green funk off, y'all. So I'm about to get to it. The quicker I get done, the quicker I go enjoy some uh, tacos and cervezas. So I'll get with y'all. Peace. Just got to the house, y'all. I finished up that job. Turned out great. Customer was super happy. And uh, took my ass to the house, got a hot shower, and I feel amazing right now. I'll be honest, I like to keep it transparent. On my way home, I was acting like a little bitch. I'm like, man, I'm tired, man, and all this stuff. I'm sunburned. Uh, the wind caught some SH as I was spraying, hit me in the face, burnt my damn lips off. Uh, got a splitter in my finger so I'm all just like man I'm whooped but I, I want to talk about that and it's gonna lead me to talk to talk about a few things uh, that house I did first and foremost was the fifth house I did in that neighborhood which is awesome it all started with one house I did where I asked them if they would make a Facebook post because they have a community Facebook page and it took off like wildfire did the neighbor did a house down the street next week I did another house this week doing that house so there, there will be more to come because of that. So I encourage you, if you're washing houses, ask that question. It's, it's worthwhile. It's definitely going to generate some money for you. And all it takes is to ask. Worst they can say is, no, we don't, we don't have that. But uh, you won't know unless you ask. So ask. Um, back to what I was saying about feeling whooped and feeling beat down. <clears throat> that happens, right? It happens on any day I go out by myself you know i don't have the luxury of having someone do like hose management for me and like or, or rinse down a house for me or, or you know all these different things i'm doing everything by myself you know and it, it can wear you down if if you're booked out if your schedule's booked and you're going out here and it's the sun is beating down it's hot as hell you know what i'm saying it's hard work you're pulling you're pulling the hose and man you're just getting sunburn all types of stuff might be in a bad mood anyway it just everything compounds itself and it's easy to have a bad day but i want to say this it's worth it you know it is so rewarding you know I'm, I'm sitting back here i told you i just took a shower i was sitting there in the shower thinking i just made 1200 bucks today like uh, a lot of people can't say that you know and, and it felt good because no one no one did anything for me. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I, I didn't go somewhere and I didn't, no one paid me that like as an employee or like, I'm my own boss. I went out and made that money. You know what I'm saying? And it feels super good, especially being that I'm still full time, you know, at, at my main job. I work 50 hours a week. I work nonstop. I work 24 seven, but I work 50 hours a week at my main job. I'm a uh, INC, basically I'm an INC elect electrical technician at a nuclear power plant. And I work on all types of other stuff there too. <clears throat> but, and even though I make great money there, you know, I ain't having no $1,200 days. And trust me, I've had bigger days than that. So, so it's really rewarding whenever you have those days, especially after you get done with the work and you're feeling beat down and wore out. Once you get a cold beer in you, and once you, you get a hot shower and, and you get a hot meal, 
you can sit back and, and be like, man, look what I did today. You know, that, that makes me think of, uh, makes me think of two people. Makes me think of my boy, Cody from Southeast Southwash. He's made a couple videos over the past year. He made one just the other night talking about, you know, the benefits of being your own boss, right? And he made the uh, analogy of the matrix. <clears throat> like being, if you're in corporate America, which I am, I work for a Fortune 250 company. I've been there, I've been there going on a decade. If you work there, you don't know no better. You don't, most of the time, the people that are there, they're like the, what do you, what do you call it whenever you, you got your feet coming through the bottom of a car? The Flintstone people or whatever. You know, you go, you clock in and you, you get your money and you go home. You clock out, you go home. And uh, I hate that. You know, even though I can have rewarding days at, at my main job, it's so rewarding doing it as your own as your own boss. So uh, it, it really made me think, he made the analogy that that's the matrix when you're in corporate America. And sometimes you don't know no better until you unplug from the matrix. You know what I'm saying? Blue pill, red pill, all that good stuff, man. So, and another one is Bobby Walker. You know, I was thinking about Bobby Walker too. He, what Something he always says on his podcast is, if you're not doing what you want to do in your life or living how you want to live, you better have a good damn reason why. But if you're not pursuing doing what you want to do, there is no good reason why. Meaning, you should always be striving for better. You should always be striving to do what you want to do. So, I had a great day today. $1,200. It just gives me the, it, the fuel on the fire to continue to grind, continue to get after it. You know, I can't wait for my wife to get home. She's deployed. And as soon as she gets home, it's going to make things a lot easier. Do I expect her to, to be out there every day grinding, washing the house with me? Absolutely not. You know, I, I'm, I'll be realistic. She's got a full-time job. She's in the military. You know, she's got things to do. But it would be nice to have her support her helping with the marketing, her helping with the network, networking, and it just gives me something to look forward to. I'm going to make this a full-time gig. This is the third day this week that I was right at a thousand or over a thousand. So I'm at a $3,000 week. That's crazy. So I want to say thank you to all you guys out there who continue to motivate me. Uh, you know, I hope that I, I can motivate y'all. You know, I, I'm always going to keep it transparent. I'm not going to bullshit you. You know, it ain't all rainbows and sunshine. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just like I was saying, I, 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 I was whooped after today's work. And I got a full day tomorrow. So it's going to be a long ass day tomorrow. I'm going to sweat my ass off. I'm already sunburned. But I'm going to get out there and get after it. All right, y'all. I got a lot of lot of uh, food trucks, taco trucks I go to to get tacos. This is one of my favorites. Uh, really nice people. Just talked to my homegirl up here. And uh, they ain't gonna have steak tacos next week, man. So I lucked out, I'm gonna get some right now, but I, I talked to a lot of people that are from the Raleigh Garner area that reached out to me on my channel. It's crazy how many people are right around here. But uh, come to this shady ass Valero gas station. Y'all know the one I'm talking about, the one across from the big old uh, car wash and right down the road from Bojangles. But uh, there it is, y'all. Killer steak tacos. All right, y'all, till next time, I get with you. Some radishes, steak tacos, baby. Cilantro and onions. And this this sauce, y'all better ask for that, y'all. It's good. You gotta wash it down.